With new UI libraries popping up every day and some of them losing support for Vue 3, why not use this time to create your own UI library using Nux 3? Who knows, you might just become the world's next greatest UI library author. The first thing you're going to want to do is create an account on NPM. This is quite simple and NPM is free. Once you've created your account on NPM, start a new project by doing a make directory UI, NPM init and give it an entry point of Nux.js. After you've done that, make sure the world knows who you are by giving them your name. And of course, specify your license as open source. Open up your project in VS Code and add a new property to your package.json called peer dependencies and give it the Nux3 latest tag. Back in your folder structure, create a new file called Nux.js. This is where you'll specify some imports called define Nux module and join and you'll export default a define Nux module function with hooks, component tiers and then in these directories you'll push a folder called components and prefix it with the name of your choice. After you've done that, create a new component called button.view in a components folder and then in your template you can build out your markup with a slot to have dynamic content inserted from the usage of your component. At the top of the file in your setup function you can define props with defined props and give it a color of type string required false and default of whatever you want to default your color to. Once you've done that you can use your new cool color property by specifying a background color of color in a dynamic style. Now back to the terminal all you have to do is log into your npm account and run npm publish with the flag of access public if you are in a scoped package and then your package is live. Back in another terminal init a new Nux3 app and then cd into that app and install your dependencies. In your new app in VS Code add your new created component with the yarn add command and then go to your nux.config.ts in the build modules and specify your new component with slash nux dependent. In your markup you can add this button by specifying the slot and some text and remember you can use the cool color property or prop that you have defined so let's make a new colored button back in the terminal run your development server with yarn dev and blazing fast nitro will build in less than 500 milliseconds and congratulations you just built the world's worst button